My first air fryer was a T-Fell and it boasted a 3.5 liter basket and I found it a bit on the small side for just two people, myself and my wife. When I saw this online, I knew I had to have it and here it is. So stay tuned for the unboxing. I believe it's actually pronounced blazant. Convection pizza oven. On Amazon where I found that, they call it an air fryer. But wait till you see what it does. Yeah, that's pretty sharp. I could probably shave with that, but I don't uh, shave in the wintertime because I work outside. I work outside, so I like to grow a beard in the wintertime to stay warm. How can you tell I never use it? Barely. I try to keep everything intact in case I need to ship it back for whatever reason and hopefully not. There's the plastic piece. Because I'm always conscious of the fact that I might move. And if I move, I like to be able to pack things in the same box that they came in. All right, there it is. Now I need my glasses. Just because. Okay, so this has the temperature on the top. The function has bake, bagel, slow cook, warm, firmament. Defrost, air broil, air bake, and the temperature, or sorry, timer goes all the way up to 120 minutes, and there's actually a stay on section. So if you turned it all the way, it would stay on. Now, this was the only disappointing part right here, if you can see that. Um, the button I'm pointing to here is the button that allows you to switch from the top heating elements to the pizza heating elements. You can't do both at the same time. I should have known that you can't cook in the oven and the pizza oven at the same time. Uh, but the good news is while you're cooking pizza, the top part will remain at 200 degrees to keep the stuff warm that's in there. There's the tray for the pizza. This is the main reason right here what got me excited about this air fryer. Okay, check this out. I've seen many air fryers that look exactly like this. They're very similar to this, except for the pizza oven on the function on the bottom, which by the way, goes up to 550 degrees. Where did I see that? Yeah, max is uh, 550. Look at this. Oh, that's zip tied on there. But can you see this right here? These parts right here. Here, I'll hold it here. Right here. The reason why those are bent out or shaped, formed like they are there is so you can slip chicken legs in here and they'll hang. They won't be sitting inside the basket. They will be hanging down from wherever you set this. You set it up higher. And I believe I read on the website or in the description on the um, Amazon sale page that it will hold up to 16 chicken wings. And it's a fair size basket, so uh, I believe it. I'll give you the measurements right away. 
So as you can see, this basket is uh, 12 inches wide. No, sorry, uh, deep. It's uh, 13 inches wide. The uh, chicken wing is nine inches uh, uh, deep and obviously, well, 10 inches, 10 inches for the section. So 10 by, what did I say? 10 by, nine by 10, nine, nine, nine by 10 for the section for the uh, um, chicken wing tray. That's not a tray, it's a hanger. Let's call it a hanger. Let's call it a hanger. This is, what do we see here? So if you're looking to get this for your counter space and you need to know, that's 18 and a half inches wide. Okay. It is 15 inches, uh, no, uh, 14 and three quarter inches high from, no, I'm lifting on it and that lifts up for some reason. So let's say, let's say 15 inches high. It's just actually just under. And... 13 inches deep, well, actually with the handle, uh, let's say 15 inches deep from here. Whoops, you can't see that. I'll move this up a bit. So from here to the back, which would be against the wall. Uh, oh, hang on. Yes, well, it's not quite flat. There's a little, it's not even a half an inch of a bump at the back there. You know, like what you see at the back of microwaves and such. Um, if I go ahead and open this. Inside there's a drip tray. I'm guessing this is the drip tray. Where's the English part? Wow, English. Precaution. No, that's not English. Even though the word precaution is English, but the statement thereafter is not a warning. Uh, plastic bag, yeah. <laughs> There's another tray down there too. So, uh, okay, zip ties are off. So here it is. This is this is it. So you would slide your drumsticks. To me, that looks, honestly, that looks like it will hold more than 16 drumsticks. I guess it depends on the size, but there it goes. So like that. So your drumsticks would actually be hanging down, obviously. Chicken in there or a bunch of stuffed potatoes, whatever. It'll go here. It'll go one lower and it'll go one higher. Take this out. Could it? But I don't think it'll go where the chicken wing rack will go. No, not it's not meant for the top one. So here down, okay. Now I'll put that there. I'll put that there. You saw the drip tree. There's one more thing, at least one more that I can see down here. Let me. Stuff in here. I hope I can get this out of here. It's a big hole in it. Yeah. Good, good. Okay, there's a book. Yay. I love books. Okay, it's got tape on it. It's got a user's manual. And it's got probably a million different languages, but Actually, there's English. Actually, I believe it's looking all English. Yes, yes, and yes, right to the last page, which there's 18 pages and it's all English. One of the students, a couple of the students from a Hutterite colony gave me a goose, I said duck, a goose, Canada goose which was intent was supposed to be made for I'm thinking I'm going to do it in here. It might be too big for this. It's a fair sized bird, but that's the other part of this uh, 
uh, this video is also to mention my road to Thailand, which mostly focused on my trips to Thailand and Vietnam. And uh, there are many videos for that. And I do hope to get back there. Uh, in fact, of course, I'm planning on retiring in Thailand. Uh, that's still a couple years away. But my wife and I, we do plan on getting to Thailand. You see, there's the picture of the uh, hanging chicken wings. Chicken wings. I keep calling them chicken wings, the drumsticks. There's another one. Anyway, um... But in the meantime, I have a lot of cooking videos, but because my last name is actually Fryer, it's actually Fryer, and it's actually spelled like that. Not Air, just Fryer, and not Calamari. My name is Stephen Fryer, and I'm, I want to keep the name My Road to Thailand because it plays into my life. I've been a truck driver for many, many years. Now I'm teaching truck driving, and uh, the point is, because my last name is Fryer, and I wanted to have a... I'm debating whether to have a, a channel just dedicated to air fryer. And, you know, marry that all together and just do air frying on a separate channel. But I'll figure that out. Oh, this is actually an air fryer cookbook. Fries and burger. That burger looks good. I've been on a, I've actually been on a liquid diet for a couple weeks because I recently had surgery. January 3rd, I had a hi hiatal hernia surgery. And I've been told to stay on a liquid diet, which has been okay for me. I'm, I am hungry, but I've also lost some weight. And I've always, in the last number of years, I've wanted to lose weight without any success. But I am down at least five to six, maybe even up to seven or eight pounds by now. But look, it's got pictures. It's got all kinds of stuff. There's actually this, this, uh, mastering your, I hope I'm saying this right. I'm a terrible reader. Blazant Flair Air Fryer Cookbook. It goes all the way up to page 58. They even got sour, last one is sourdough bread. Wow. Oh, wait, there's one more. Air fryer pull apart bread rolls. Page 59, that's the last page. So lots of goodies to look forward there. And maybe I'll do many of them so that uh, I can get my channel just flying. Again, there's this, this was all in here. And maybe this is the drip tray. It's got sides, excuse me, it's got sides on it, or I'll figure it out later. Thanks for your time and attention to this video. It seems to be okay, solid, okay built. I'm kind of wondering about this part here. Oh, what am I, this comes right out. I was wondering why it was loose, but I guess that comes out for cleaning. And now you can see that I have my light on. This comes out for your cleaning. It slides right out the bottom. Awesome. You can't see where that's coming from, so I'm going to tilt my camera down. That came right out from the bottom. When I was measuring, I was wondering, why is this loose like that? But now I know. And where's my pizza? Pizza tray. There that is. Now... One thing it does say, keep handles open when in use. So there you go. I had it on an angle. Anyway, so when you're using the pizza oven, it says keep the handles open. But when you're not using it and it's cool, they close like that. And it sounded like they clicked on a magnet. They do. Yep, magnet. Keep them closed. Awesome. Thanks again for watching. Thumbs up. A sub to the channel would be awesome. And I can't wait to get started on it. But it might be a week yet because I'm one more week left on my liquid diet. Okay, take care. I'm out. This is the back side, just so you can see. A little bit of a bump there. Like you would see at the back of a microwave. There's no, oh yeah, there is a vent there. Yeah, vent right there. 
in the sides and you'll notice it's got these two knobs here they're actually sticking out further obviously so you can only get it so far to the wall it's probably a good thing there's the other side